I don't have a problem with working with anyone with HIV. It's a fairly non-transmissible disease unless you're getting fairly involved with that person. Based on my knowledge, they don't. It's not contagious by normal body contact, so there's nothing to be afraid of, lah. HIV doesn't spread through close contact, and I think that the HIV patients themselves would want to work. I mean, they don't want to just laze around and not contribute to society. So I think that. Uh, uh, it's not right to discriminate against them. End of the day, they are human beings as well. It's unfortunate that they've been detected HIV, but saying that they've got emotions, they've got talent, they've got skills, so I don't have a problem working with them. No, I won't be that concerned about it. I'll look at all the other job descriptions, other job qualifications and the skills that he has. The unique thing about uh, the uh, workplace discrimination against HIV in Singapore is not a very outright discrimination, it's very subtle. The employer is not going to turn around and say, you know, I'm not going to be continuing your employment because you're HIV positive. And then they will start to the issue like, oh, you know, I may have issues with you because your work performance isn't as, as commendable as you were before. I've met people who have been made to work in a separate cubicle, they can't use the the pantry or they can't use the same utensils, they'll be made to wear a mask all the time because they're worried that HIV can spread through the uh, aircon system. I, I used to feel very hurt initially. And I'll start going through the whole why does it have to happen to me? Why do I have to have HIV? Maybe if I don't have HIV and I didn't do a stupid thing, then this won't happen. Yeah, so I'll go through that whole process and I'll get, I'll, I will beat myself up. Um, I'll get very angry at the people. I've come to realize that there is no way around this. There will be people, even when this earth crashes into the sun, millions of years from now, there will be people who will react this way. Every year, uh, for, uh, for the past few years, we poll the general public as whether they're willing to sit with the person uh, who is living with HIV, to have a meal with the person, to really work with the person. And generally, majority will say, oh, we will have no issue. What I find very challenging is that you can t educate people on the risk of transmission and how HIV is transmitted, but it becomes static information. And when I mean static information is, if I talk to you and I tell you, okay, HIV can be transmitted only through th these three ways, and it, it becomes a data that you know. But given uh, an opportunity for you to actually interact with someone who is HIV positive, to actually work in an environment where there is a HIV positive person, people, irrational fears comes up. SNAF, the Singapore National Employer Federation, did come up with a HIV guideline for uh, Singapore employers to adopt. It's a three-tier guideline to encourage the adoption of HIV-friendly policies. We believe that the business sector plays a crucial role in changing the social attitudes that people have um, towards HIV so that people living with HIV can remain economically active in the workforce. Um, our HIV and AIDS procedures support the Equal Opportunities at Work um, procedures which promote uh, non-discrimination and uh, non-disclosure. So we do not at any point in time require our employees to declare their status and uh, we also do not tolerate any form of discrimination against people who are living HIV. Uh, we provide counselling for the employee and also the bank um, pro uh, pays for their antiretroviral treatment if the antiretroviral treatment is not available in their country. There's no cure or vaccine for HIV, so the only way for it to prevent is really through education. So our living HIV um, program really starts out with education. You can educate um, senior management as well as, um, you know, we can bring the education down to the levels of rural communities. So it's an interactive uh, program that we basically just educate people about how to make lifestyle choice, safe lifestyle choices and to dispel myths and misconception. There are 
wonderful uh, benefits for companies who would like to you know, adopt HIV policies. It doesn't lose its uh, human capital because can you imagine if you have employed someone who is HIV positive for the longest of time and suddenly you found out after X amount of years of service that this person is HIV positive and, and if that person pr plays a crucial part in the management of the company, are you willing to let go of your investment, your you know your ROI in that person? Are you willing to let go? So the discrimination will only send a message to other people that the stigma and discrimination is severe in Singapore. Therefore, I should not test. And if someone doesn't test, they will never know that they have HIV. The virus continues to spread. So everybody plays a part. Doesn't matter you know someone living with HIV or not whether you are living in Jerry or not. Everybody plays a part in that sense. HIV is a very unique and a very exceptional uh, illness in the sense that um, there's a social community approach to it that is not linked at all to the medical uh, medical aspect of the uh, infection, and the infection itself for a person living with HIV is not a big uh, you know hurdle to overcome. But then you have this whole subset of people who is going to come in with their value system, with their principle, with their judgment, and that is the one that is going to be a lot of challenge to deal with. I'm lucky that I had the opportunity to meet friends and colleagues who will not discriminate me and, sh and was willing to share food with me, was willing to treat me quite normally. I take the same attitude I take with people with my job and I won't look for an industry that will discriminate me. Even in, it's in the same industry, there will be other organisations that or other companies that will accept me and I know that there are more than enough people or companies out there who will be happy. And if really I can't find a job and because I've been turned down everywhere I go because of HIV and AIDS, then that's something I need to continue working on to speak about it. <laughs>